Well, I've seen your abs before, mm. and this is where you do it, huh? This right here. If there's any exercise I can recommend for anyone to do, it would be to do a reverse crunch here on a decline bench. It's, awesome. It hits every single muscle, even your obliques. Through demonstration, allow me. <laughs> First thing you want to do is you want to grip this handlebar right here. And once again, you're going to tuck your knees in. And as you drive in, you're then going to take your legs up into the sky and then slowly bring them back in and drive out. To make it a little bit more challenging, coming up, bringing one leg down, then the other, and slowly engaging those abs and then kicking out. This is equivalent to someone grabbing a rope and doing those rope crunches. I prefer this over that because even though we all want these abs, anytime you add weight to any muscle, it's going to grow. And I don't want really big bulky abs. So I try to avoid adding weight to the, my abs versus more body weight exercises such as this. In combination with this, I would like to show you uh, vacuuming. Where you simply bend over and you pull your belly button in, your innermost co core, which is your engaging your transverse muscles here. And you want to hold this for about 30 seconds. Release. Again. I like to superset with these. So as I push my abs out and develop the muscles, I'm actually pulling in my transverse muscles, which is your innermost layer of abs. And if you can pull that in over time, what will happen is, is it actually makes your waist smaller and tighter. You want to hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds and do three to four rounds.